It is uh, Sunday morning. I'm going to get across the road. So here we go. And uh, anyway, we are slack packing today. Pretty awesome idea. We picked up another couple of folks. We've got uh, so be it and butters, as I, I think that's the right names. So it goes. Yes, so go it, so it goes. And butters, they're from LA. And we're blessed to have them join our trail family, at least for the short term. We're doing about 11 today, back to uh, Stanimals Hostel. And we're really, really happy. I think I can speak for the group to be going down 2,500 feet instead of up 2,500 feet with a full resupply. So we'll talk to you soon when we get on up the trail a bit. Well, we're moving up the trail this morning, passing these big rocks, and thankfully, as Angel said, they're over there and not over here. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with that later today, but uh, it'll be what it'll be. And uh, it's nice to be not carrying heavy bags today. Heading back to uh, Stanimals Hostel, and we're hoping to have a good evening there tonight, eat good food, have a shower, sleep in a bed, and then we're out back in the woods tomorrow. So we'll talk to you a little bit up the trail. Yeah. Four yards. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So we are standing at the top of something, and I didn't look it up, but boy, the look at the views. It's a little hazy out there today. Not our absolute best view of our trip, but uh, we're going to take it because it's a nice one. And I think we've peaked out here for a little while anyway, maybe. And uh, got some view off to this side. And lots of blackberries and poison oak. So it's all good. We're going to head uh, up the trail. Or just read it from. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we could just read it from the book. Yeah. Yeah, so th this is a monument um, uh, <clears throat> to a little boy who has uh, wandered off from school a distance of seven miles away. He was four years, almost five years old, and uh, he succumbed here. So sad, but uh, there's a monument to commemorate or memorize him. Not memorize, memorialize. Memorialize. Remember. I'm having trouble with words today. I should just quit. Well, today, thankfully, there's a path wide enough for us to make it through. But uh, these things, it's just a sea of them. They're about waist high. And a uh, little trail crossing. Saltwog Gap Trail, Hercules. Hercules Road. What do I remember about Saltwog Gap? Something was notable. I don't know if that was. That was not a water source. Or is that where there's the water in point five? I think this is where there's water off the trail at point five. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So anyway, we're gonna keep on plowing. Hawkeye is way up front today. And maybe was the eyes good enough for you to put this? No. Something trail floats. Huh, I don't know. Until it's cause there's nettles all over the place. But anyway, we're heading on up the road. And we'll talk to you soon. I just hadn't had my camera out in a while. And thought I'd let you see what we're seeing today. Well, we're trying to figure, we're trying to figure this one out. Um, that would be a negative climb if we were going to do that, but there's a blaze on it, so <laughs> we're sitting here having a discussion. Do we really have to go up that? Of course, the answer is no, but, uh, well, it sure does look like we're supposed to go up and over that to, to stay on the AT, because there's the blaze right there. Uh, but actually, the trail goes up this way, so we'll keep on getting it, but still in lots of rocks, and I guess that's probably going to be the case since we're the, in, the, in the Appalachian Mountains. That's going to probably be the case all the way. And that's okay. We'll uh, we'll learn to adapt. It's all good as long as they keep the rocks up on the mountainside where they belong, and not on the trail. Well, this was just a short left turn off our trail, and it was worth it. Wow, nice peaks. Oop. Yeah, I don't want to trip. Good ways down there, but uh, lots of stuff to see here. It's still a little hazy today. Uh, I guess that's the James River down there. We're headed there again. Uh, a little hazy, but we can still see quite a bit. And uh, beautiful day for hiking. So far, so good. Great weather. Not too, too hot. Uh, and we're not carrying weight. That makes everything wonderful. Anyway, uh, on up the trail. Where we were oh yeah. Ago. Where is that? See that mountain that's kind of sticking up in the. The yeah. High Knob. Okay, yeah, we were there. Okay, that would be camera, that one. Eh, right in there, Apple I think. Orchard Mountain, 
Oh, the ball. Yeah, is that it up there on the yeah. top? So right up here is Apple Orchard Mountain. That's where we passed the uh, weather radar thing up there. So yeah, we've been over there. I'm glad we're uh, down from that now. Yeah, so that's how we came down and we got to the river down there. Cool. No business is the one with the tower on it over there. Where's that? Okay, maybe behind the tree from that. Anyway, maybe not. Anyway, nice views. Well, this is our trail spot right here. And if you look really carefully, let's see if I can zoom in just a tad. Um, think right in the center, it's really sunny here, so it's hard to see my screen. Right in the center is the James River Foot Bridge. And uh, you can definitely see over here a little beige spot to the right where the railroad tracks come on around right there. But uh, that's where we're going, is back down to that little bridge right there. So we've got our destination in sight, but we're still about five miles from there, four and a half or something. And it's all downhill, so. We're getting ready to drop a lot of elevation. Yeah, we're getting ready to about 2,500 feet. We're gonna drop, or 2,000, somewhere thereabouts. So. Yeehaw. All right, here goes Angel, up and over. Just having to be really careful on this one. almost got it. I'm not sure whether I can do that or not. I guess Gavin is loving this. All right, Bullfrog's getting ready to go too. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, hey Angel, the trail doesn't go there. <laughs> it goes down here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. Nice view though, I bet. Nice. Okay, this is the Johns Hollow Shelter. It is uh, just a hair off the trail, uh, just north of the John River Footbridge, or James River Footbridge. Uh, we kind of popped down in here. We're gonna get a, maybe a little bit of water here and use the facilities, and then we're gonna head on back to the river and get our ride at uh, about an hour from now back to the hostel for the evening. So I did wanna show you the shelter and the area around it, there really is a nice area for tenting back there. I, the, the guide does not lie about that. That's one of the th features that it said is lots of room for tenting in the back. And there certainly is plenty of room for that. So anyway, we're gonna head on down the trail. Still going southbound for about another 1.6 back to the river. And then tomorrow we get ourselves righted and start going in the, in the correct direction. Oh yeah. yeah, I definitely had the video camera out. This is the mountain stream of the day and Angel's crossing the stream again. Uh-oh, pulling the water, that's five point deduction. So we haven't seen streams at all today. And uh, we're almost back down to the James River and this is our first and probably only stream. It's a nice one. It's gonna get the award for mountain stream of the day today. And we're gonna go ooh, up, wow, over rocks, nice. Good touch, nice touch guys. Up over the rocks and we're headed to the James River and we got a shuttle coming in about 30 or 45 minutes. So we'll talk to you up the trail. Well, we're still plodding along. We've got our group together and we are headed for the hostel. Well, almost together. Hawkeye, as per usual, late in the week, after he's got himself back some legs, is way out front. But uh, we've had a pretty nice day today. We were really, really proud that we went down the big climb instead of up it. And didn't have to carry weight regardless. We saw some nice views. And we're going to sleep in a bed again tonight. So that'll be an awesome thing that's that's the right way to do the trail is to rest and relax as much as you can as much as you can do that and uh, that helps you to do your miles later in the week so we're heading out and we'll talk to you soon well going along the trail we picked up this creek and this one maybe uh, I wasn't expecting it but this one may supersede the last one as our mountain stream of the day it certainly is a little bit bigger you can hear it running. We've got lots of rocks and waterfalls, or at least rapids and rushing. So, kind of a really nice way to end our day is to kind of go out down along this thing a little bit. We're getting ready to break from it, but I'll stop right here. No, oh, there's the one that we passed out earlier, coming in to join up. So we can give a joint award, because right there is where it comes in. Nice little waterfall right there. And we'll give that the award for uh, Mountain Creeks of the Day.
But we're still coming down by this creek and I stopped here because this is a, a better clearer view of uh, the creek and some of the rapids that are running along and then it just kind of flattens out and gets smooth and wide. So really great way to end our day today, walking down the river side or the creek side or whatever. There it gets really flat, not very deep. And uh, noticing on the trail here, there's a lot of uh, fresh leafy stuff. Somebody has been down through here with a weed eater or something to cut back the trail. And that's, that's awfully uh, great of somebody to have taken that time and that effort to do. Oh, nice rock face too. Didn't notice that before. We've probably been here and I just didn't look to the right because I was so busy looking to the creek at the left. All right, trying to catch up to the group up here and not trip on a root at the same time. It's a challenging thing, but we'll get it mastered. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All righty, we get to cross a bridge. Yippee! So we're gonna cross the creek and I'll take some video going up and down the creek a little bit when I get across there. These steps are very steep. I hope we don't have to go up steps on the other side because I'm tired and I don't want to do steps. All right, so there's our creek. It is awesome. Fantastic way to finish the day. Absolutely incredible way to finish our day. We got this little bridge here, and I would say we're probably half a mile from where we're going. The trail is good, no big steps over here. We've got pine needles and flat rocks. It's been a pleasure to walk on the AT today, except for that rock that just about tripped me right there. Maybe the motion sensing or motion dampening on the phone will take care of that one. Who knows? Well, we have almost arrived back to where we started a couple of days ago. There's the uh, railroad bridge, and just on the other side is the uh, James River foot bridge. So. You know, I think I mentioned the other day, it's not Footbridge, it's James River Foot Bridge, because it's named after a fellow named J uh, Foot. I think there was a sign in my video the other day. I'll tell you what, somebody very likely went home with a great case of poison a few days ago from here, because I see some, or did see some poison up where they've run the weed eater. I appreciate somebody else doing that and not me, and appreciate whoever it is that's responsible for this section of trail taking care of it and uh, knocking down the weeds for us. That's very, very nice. So now we got to figure out where's Hawkeye. Because I don't see him. I wonder if he went to that other parking lot. Hmm, odd, strange. And I bet that's our ride, so he may be in there. We'll see you in just a minute. Yep, there's his hiking poles, there's his head, this is our ride, so we'll get him some water and we'll be good. Well, this was our destination, Stanimals 328 shelter and shuttles, or hostel and shuttles, and uh, we're glad to be here. We got a porch we can sit out on, very nice, I'm going to pick up my little day pack thingy here. This is actually the brain of my pack, and it also serves as a fully functional day pack, and it was awesome to have a day pack today and just carry this little bit of thing instead of uh, instead of having to carry the entire big pack. So it's just a house. Inside we got a uh, cooking area, we've got laundry, we have a fridge that's got some things in there if we need it, first aid kit, common area, hyper fridge, and the massage chair. Dun, 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 dun. The massage chair is something I'm gonna to have to hit later on today. So, really nice little area here. And, got a bunk room over here. Ooh. And we're all in the bunk room over here. So we're kind of exploding our packs and getting ready to go get some supper as soon as we can wash off and such as that. So, we'll check in with you another time. <laughs>